Okay, police are currently at the scene of a fatal crash at Ebenezer in the Barossa, uh, where a, a um, semi-trailer has collided with a vid with a car. Uh, this brings to five the number of uh, road fatalities on uh, our rural roads in the past four days. Uh, police can only do so much. There's, uh, some people just aren't getting the message. Okay, what these um, road fatalities do do is, um, is debunk the message that, or the myth that um, uh, a lot of these road fatalities uh, involve pe people that are um, from the city and are unfamiliar with driving in the country. Okay, because um, there's most of the people here, or four of the people here, were actually on their way home and living locally. The road fatalities on Friday um, on uh, Kangaroo Island, a 47-year-old female had uh, had only just, uh, uh, I believe, left the licensed premises, and uh, and uh, was involved in a collision. And it's noticed, it's noted as well that uh, she was not wearing a seatbelt. On Saturday, at Murray Bridge, there was that collision with a car versus health. The, me the media are well, house were the media are well aware of that, where a 27-year-old female was um, uh, was, was died. Uh, the uh, in terms of the the, the cause of death there, um, it's uh, still not known, but um, it's uh, understood that you know, speed and alcohol may have been involved. On Saturday at Penishaw, again on Kangaroo Island. We have another collision that's occurred where a 55-year-old male has died and the, uh, again, in attention, looks like a contributing factor and again, uh, the person had uh, recently left the licensed premises and uh, was not wearing a seatbelt. Uh, on Sunday at Port Germain, there was another collision, uh, two vehicles, where an 87-year-old male from Mambray Creek died. Again, inattention is believed to be involved. And uh, police are currently at the collision at Ebenezer. The, uh, there's, uh, that's five deaths in, uh, on our rural roads in four days. The, uh, I think the important message that needs to be reinforced, and each of these collisions, uh, they're still, bearing in mind that they're still under investigation, but the fatal five... Um, I'm just pretty well, all the, all the boxes are ticked in terms of all those, uh, all parts of the Fatal Five are involved. The first uh, of the Fatal Five is inattention and distraction. Okay, clearly a factor in, um, in most of these collisions. Uh, speeding is believed to be involved in uh, a number of the collisions. Uh, failing to wear seatbelts, there's two, two of the collisions, the drivers are known to have not been wearing their seatbelt. And uh, drink and drug driving. Drink driving is believed to be involved in a number of them, a number of the offences. But as I said, a lot of these a lot of these are still under investigation. Uh, and the other one, of course, is dangerous road users. In terms of uh, speeding, uh, I'd just like to point out that 40% of fatal road crashes is known that uh, speeding is a contributing factor. In terms of drink driving. It's important to know also about 37% of crashes, fatal crashes each year involve a driver with a blood alcohol reason, reading of above 0.05. And it's a well-known fact that alcohol impairs the driver's ability to drive. The, um, the, other, the other point as well is seatbelts. And it's up to 36% of people killed in, uh, in fatal crashes are still not wearing seatbelts at the time of the crash. And uh, the rate is higher, and I think this is really reinforced um, yeah, today with, this, um, with these five fatalities, um, is uh, higher in rural areas. Are there any questions? How concerning is this recent spate to police, given that they are all rural and they do seem... People just don't seem to be hearing the pretty simple messages that have been out there for years. That's right, and uh, and, and I guess that's that's why I'm here. That's what this is all about. That people aren't get, there's some people are not getting the message, uh, and, uh, and you know the myth that uh, particularly on our rural roads that uh, fatalities involve uh, city drivers uh, that are um, inexperienced and unfamiliar with driving in the country. 
uh, that's well and truly um, debunked here um, on this occasion where there's four of the five fatalities, uh, people are actually um, uh, local and on their way home. Have you got much?